Actually, let's go to color right now and adjust the opacity. This is really, really convenient. We can come in and just say, opacity, I want you to be about 0.1. Ooh. So look at that. Oh, that makes a huge difference. Yeah, but maybe that's a little bit too much. So maybe 0.3. So maybe something like that's that. not enough. Maybe. What do you mean, maybe that's not enough? <laughs> I'm just giving you a hard time. Your last, one, your last one was too much. I figured this one would be not enough. Yeah, so something like that. Actually, that does look a lot better. Yeah, actually it does. It looks almost like what we're going for, but... Starting to get that kind of white water effect at the top. It's still transparent toward the bottom so you can see through it. I kind of like that. Yeah, it is kind of cool. So let's come down here, and of course I'm looking at my cheat sheet to make sure that I've got everything set up the cheat way I want it to be. Sheet. Hey, cheat sheets are important. We can come down and change this to brighten. Ooh. What this will allow us to do is make it so that it's not contrasting as much and multiplying the color. Because if we set this back to translucent, you'll notice that the colors are multiplied onto each other. Right, which, so we get this really, really bright color at the very top. Which it's, like is just, it it's a little glows. too much. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like it glows. which is kind of Super white. Yeah. So if we change this over to brighten, look at that. It's a lot more, well, interesting and realistic looking, which is, well, what I want. So if we come back down here... <laughs> And maybe it's pumping out a little bit too fast. Maybe I could pull this down a little bit. Something like 100 and 90. Not 70, 90. Okay, so you're changing the uh, min and max values of the Y start velocity? Yeah, exactly. So okay. the pumping out velocity. I gotcha. Very cool. And what, what if I come color? back out here? Oh, look at that. We're just falling off into space We're falling forever. off into space all the way down there. Yeah. You know what? I really don't want that. Okay. So what I want to do is come over to here, and we have a life setting, so how long it can live. If we come up to here under our time tab here, lifetime range is currently living for five whole seconds. Ooh. Well, we don't need it to live that four whole seconds. My bad. We need to change this to something smaller. Ah, four or five. What's the difference? I don't know. So maybe know between a one and two range. All right. Let's check this out. So they fall uh, for a bit and then they die off. Right. So they die off here. Maybe even a little bit less. Maybe 1.5. So just kind of playing around here. Oh, that'll work great. Yeah, that will work great. So I'm liking the way that's looking. And you'll notice that now since they're dying, the particles are more... They're, since they're dying quicker, we have how many particles did we set up? 1,500. If we go up to general, we do have 1,500 particles. So we're now seeing more in this location. Right, because now they're dying faster, so they're respawning faster. Very cool. Let's change the color of it. I want to see yeah. a different color. All right, so first color. thing, let's change the opacity color. down a little bit and come down to color multiplier range. And you'll notice we have X, Y, and Z. This corresponds to R, G, and B. Wait a minute. Say that again. That was confusing. <laughs> X, Y, and Z corresponds to R, G, and B, which is red, green, and blue. Okay, I'll write that down later. All right. Uh, hopefully you'll understand it, unlike Zach. So we can come in here. If we took, um, say, Y and Z, which is what, Zach? Mm, purple and yellow? Uh, I have a bad student, so <laughs> let's switch this over They're green to, and blue, and respectively. Exactly. So we can come in here. If we set both of these to zero, look at this. Now we get a perfectly Ooh. red thing. Actually, let's turn up the opacity. And look at that. Ooh, nice and oh, red. Oh, yeah. Kind of scary looking. So what we want to do... If you turn down the red a little bit, that could probably start to look a lot like blood. Yeah, like, actually, if we came in here and started turning these up a little bit... Uh, well, actually, what I meant was just take the take the red and make it lower so it was actually darker. Oh, 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 I see what you mean. Yeah. But yeah, we can come in here and just test this out real quick. Okay. And then we'd have to maybe uh, increase the or decrease the opacity to make sure or make sure it was fully opaque. So hey, look at that. we're starting to get there. Yeah, that's kind of cool looking. Anyway, what I want to do is set it up to a red color, not this blood red that Zach likes. Ah, uh, well. Deal with it. I'm dealing. Watch me deal. All right, so we can come in here. Be Set amazed by my skills of dealing. Ah, I'm amazed. Yes. Right now, this is set to white, which is frankly very, very ugly. So what we can do is set this to maybe 0.9 for all of these. And of course, we do have a min and max so that we can set a range, but you know. And we can set the opacity down a little bit, like we had before. And you'll notice it has a blue tint right now, which looks a whole lot better. Very faint, but there. But there, maybe a little bit more. Maybe like 0.8. I'd say 0.7, but 0.8 will probably work. Okay, it's very, very pale blue. Right, very pale blue, but kind of cool looking. But still blue. Eh, yes, yeah, still blue. So now, let me think. What other things can we set? Looking at my Gigi here. Uh, thinking, thinking, thinking. Mm. Really, I mean, that looks a lot like the effect that you were going for. I mean, you've got a series of, you got a waterfall coming out of a pipe. I mean, it looks like water. You could make it a little more blue if you wanted to, but it's absolutely not necessary. I mean, we've seen the effect. At this point, it'd be a matter of just coming in and tweaking these values until you were satisfied with what you see. Right, and of course, 
You know what, I'm looking at this, and without looking at my cheat sheet, I see a few things I may want to change. If we go to fading, we notice we have fade in and fade out. Both are set to false right now. Okay. Right now, they're kind of just snapping into existence magically. Oh, yeah. If we add a little bit of fade in and say the fade in end time, so how long is it going to take between being completely transparent and being completely opaque, or at least to what we have set up here? Or from being, like... Fading from non-existence into full existence, you could say. Yeah, that's a good way to put it. All right, very cool. So we can set this maybe to point two, and now there's a slight... Notice how smooth it is right now. Oh, yeah, very nice. And at the end here, it doesn't look too choppy, but if you come in and zoom in a little bit... Uh, don't do that. Just press the save for that. What we can do is maybe make this, well, fade out. So if we come up to our fading tab again and say fade out, now here we're setting fade out start time. And remember, this is living from 1 to 1.5 seconds. Okay. So it only makes sense to set the fade-out start time to about, say, 1.2. So it has 0.3 seconds or somewhere around there to start dying. All right. So if we come in here and look, look at that. It's starting to fade out. Oh, very nice. Another thing, maybe we want a little bit of a splash going on here. So we can come up to our collision tab. Oh, yeah, that would be cool. Look at all of these settings that we have here. I oh, mean, my goodness. It would take a year to just go through here and just say, this property does this, this property does this, and everyone would fall asleep. We don't want that. Yeah, I'd, uh, I would have to kill you probably about halfway through so I could go home and get some food, but that's okay. Why don't you go ahead and show us what you came here to show us? Okay, so... Let's see some splashing. Yeah, see some splashing. Come to collision. This is how hard it is. Use collision. True. Dink. Now, if you look down here, it's no longer dying down here, and, I mean, it's no longer going through the floor. Right, and if you look really closely, you can see them kind of firing back up off the floor, and actually, the effect that you've got looks kind of like steam firing up off the floor. Yeah, actually, it does, kind of like sprinkles. Right. And we do have a little bit of a problem up here, and you'll notice that it's catching inside of our static mesh here. That's Ooh. a bad thing. So what we can do is come in here and maybe just take our emitter and just pull it out just a little bit. And what we can do to refresh this, just change the property. And, you know, maybe just a little bit, but no big deal. It's just something that you can come in well, here Well, you know, tweak. if you actually did have a pipe that was leaking that much water, it probably would drip back off the pipe a little bit. Yeah, that is true. So, so I guess it is kind of acting realistically here. That's kind of cool, actually. I yeah. Think. And the reason, if you're wondering why it's still getting in back there, remember, it, under our location tab here, we have sphere radius range, and we have the minimum set to zero and max set to 15. Ah. So we're emitting from a spherical area here. So and part of that spherical area is, is still inside. within the pipe. Exactly. So that's why we get that kind of funky thing going on back there. Of course, right. we could tweak this if we want to, but you know what? I'm kind of happy with... You get the idea. Right. This is sort of a... Waterfall, not really well, a waterfall, but just about, a. How about you increase the life a little bit, just so we can see a little more of that uh, splash, that splash at the bottom. So if we come down to our time tab, we can increase this to maybe five. Now, <laughs> yeah, this is, this is gonna live for a while. Yes, this is gonna live for a while. So you notice, remember, when is it fading? When is it starting to fade? Let's see if you're awake. Um, starting to fade. I'm not sure what you mean. I'm sorry. Uh, when it started to fade out. I'm sorry. So if we come back up to our fading tab here, we have the fade out start time is set to 1.2. Okay. So at this point, it starts to fade out right about around this area. All right. So what we want to do is maybe set this up to 4. Oh, I gotcha. So now he starts to fade out right about here. But you know what? What if we wanted to come in here and say, you know what? I don't want him to bounce up that high. It's like there's no real world properties to this bounce at all. Yeah, I've never seen water do that. Yeah, that would be, well, strange. That'd be kind of cool, but still strange. Yeah. So we can come in here to our collision tab under our dampening factor range. We can come in here and set for X, Y, and Z how much it, well, decreases. In this case, it's bouncing in Z, so we can come in here and say point two and point two. So now check this out. All it right. It and then just falls and fades off. Very cool. So, of course, if it's so, more yeah, realistic, you, you could tw yeah, Absolutely. You could tweak that around to get all kinds of different effects for your splashing. That's right. So, maybe something like that. I still don't want it to live that long. Even, I don't care what you think, Zach. I'm sorry. That's fine. So, maybe something like three. And come back up to our fading. And change this to about two. And, you know, if you were doing this on your own, you could also potentially create, like, a second emitter actor that just created the splash on its yeah, own. Yeah, actually, you could. Which, Very which might, you know, might even be a better way to do it. But, you know, just this is a good way to show off a lot of these parameters. Right, as you can see, we've just jumped around through pretty much every tab that's in existence here, which is pretty amazing. Right. So I guess with that, that wraps up how to create a simple waterfall, water spout, something or another. Yeah.
if you want to. So Very excellent. So that's going to wrap up this lesson. Thanks, everyone.